Now that the beta version 2 is out for One UI 4.0 with Android 12 on the Galaxy S21 series, we managed to get the update on our S21 model. Following our first two initial videos on Build 1, which we highly recommend you watch for a full breakdown, as in this video, we'll be focusing on the major changes brought forward to beta version 2. Hi, Ben from Sam Mobile. If you enjoy exclusive new videos like this, then be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV. Here is our breakdown of what is new with beta version 2 of One UI 4.0. If there's one thing that was heavily requested from Beta 1 with One UI 4.0 was more integration with Material U and the system color theme implementation showcased with Android 12. Samsung has finally answered the call and introduced color theme. This option is under wallpaper settings and finally allows you to customize your phone with a different color palette based on your wallpaper. Your unique colors will be applied to menus, buttons, backgrounds, and apps throughout your phone. This is such a good sign for what will come with the final version of One UI 4.0 released later this year and shows Samsung are listening. Mind you, this is still a beta build, so usage bugs might still come into play, but overall, in our usage so far, it looks to be working really well. The video effects feature for the background effects that really gives you a level of control when taking video calls has now been added to more apps for support and now with the addition of microphone effects and control as a new feature. Using WhatsApp as an example, even in a video call, you can see the floating icon for the video and mic effects. This icon can also freely be moved around on the screen while on the video call. When you press the icon, it will show four areas under the video call effects, which are reset all, background, mic mode, and settings. Starting with the background, here you can blur the background, change the background to a solid color, or even better, change the background to a still image of your choice in your photos gallery. Next is the mic mode, which gives you three options for standard mic pickup, voice focus to isolate your voice and cut out the background noise and all sound to bring in all the surrounding sound, which is great if there is more than one person with you on the video call in the same place. Overall, this is my personal favorite of Beta 2 and cannot wait to see this in a final One UI 4.0 update later this year. The option for virtual memory or RAM in this case has now been enabled and added to Beta 2. Samsung is calling this feature RAM Plus and what it virtually does, pun intended, is use some of your onboard storage as virtual RAM for your phone to use on very heavy tasks and apps that push beyond your standard onboard RAM. In this case for our S21, it comes with eight gigabytes of RAM and RAM Plus enables an additional four gigabytes of virtual RAM from the onboard storage. As this is virtual, this will not be on the same speed and quality as having access to your standard RAM, but a great option nonetheless to ensure a continuous smooth user experience when heavy apps and tasks come into play. This feature does seem to be on automatically with no way to disable it. This might change in a future build of the beta or on the final release of One UI 4.0, but overall, this is a nice option to have under the device care RAM management. The default Samsung keyboard has been updated to version 5.4.00.50 for beta 2 compared to version 5.4.00.50 0.38 for beta 1 for One UI 4.0. This is set to bring an overall improvement to the input accuracy on the Samsung keyboard when typing. This isn't a feature that you can toggle on and off as such as it's meant to be automatic, but I'm sure over the course of time using it, we might notice a difference. Typing experience in general is very subjective to each user, so just bear that in mind when you get into it. This final part just states that there has been an overall fix to power, heating, and security bugs potentially found and experienced by other users during beta one of One UI 4.0. Although we never experienced such issues, it's great to see Samsung working on these kinks to make sure that you do have a stable experience on One UI 4.0. As always, we'll keep an eye on the continued use of beta two of One UI 4.0 and any future builds to come down to the final official release of One UI 4.0 with Android 12, which arrives later this year. For the latest news in the world of Samsung Daily, be sure to visit us at sammobile.com. 
For the latest videos on YouTube with Sam Mobile TV, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and we will see you next time.